Two dogs found decapitated in Hamilton. Good evening. I'm Mike Dardis. And I'm Cherie Pillow. And a warning for you tonight this story is very graphic. Police are now looking for who placed two dead dogs on the railroad tracks in Hamilton. WLWT News Size Emily Wood is live for us tonight at the police department where investigators have lots of unanswered questions. Emily. Cherie, there is still a lot to learn about this case this morning. Officers got a call about po pictures posted on social media of those two dogs decapitated. When detectives arrived on scene, only one dog was found, and he was in a different spot than the pictures originally showed. But I have never seen anything like that, ever. Disturbing images show the remains of a decapitated dog left on railroad tracks near South G Street in Hamilton. Tina Adams lives close by and remembers hearing the train Sunday night. I guess it was about midnight. I heard the train whistle behind my house. Now I know enough to know that the trains don't whistle behind houses unless there's something on the tracks. Hamilton police say the dog shows no other signs of injury or a gunshot wound, but it's enough to leave neighbors worried about their own safety. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm fearful. A lot of people around this neighborhood have pets. And, and nothing deserves, nothing deserves to die the way those that the dog did. Nothing, nothing. I can't, I, it's unimaginable. They actually told us that she is a pit bull mastiff mix. Krista Snyder fosters animals through Joseph's legacy. She's seen many cases of animal cruelty, but never one this brutal. There's always another option. You can either take them to the um, animal friends, take them to a rescue post them online, find someone to do it. So I don't understand why anyone would ever go to that length to hurt and kill an animal. And as Krista said, there are several animal advocacy groups out there that can help. We posted a list of those organizations on our website, WLWT.com. Reporting live tonight in Hamilton, Emily Wood, WLWT News 5. If you have any information that could help detectives, you're asked to call the Hamilton Police Department.